In this video, you will learn everything that you need to know about WordPress users like what is user in WordPress, how to add an user in WordPress, WordPress user role. I am going to explain the WordPress user role in details. Hey everyone, this is Mizan. Welcome to WordPress Boffin and this is another brand new video from my WordPress management series named WordPress for Absolute Beginner. If you haven't watched the previous video of this series, please look at the info card or in the description of this video. If you are new here in my channel, please consider subscribing. What is user in WordPress? Users are people who have already registered on your website and every user is assigned a specific role when their account is created. In WordPress, a user role is given to each person who can log into your WordPress website to define what they can and what they can't do by default five user roles are offered this means that some users can have full control over your website while others will only be able to view your content i will explain the user role later in this video first let's create a user how to create a user in wordpress user can be created in two ways number one by an admin and number two if the site supports users can create their account by themselves okay let's create a user in both ways first of all as i am uh, the admin at this moment i will administer the first method that if you are an admin how you can create a user account uh, to know the current user of your website you can go to users and all users same thing we already know that and if i click click on this option then i will see that all the users available of this website at this moment right now there is only one user of this uh, particular wordpress installation if i want to uh, add another user what i can do i can click on add new or maybe from here add new same thing then the first uh, option is very very important and it's required you have to give a username so i'm giving miss press and uh, email address is uh, important and uh, you can give any email address uh, but that should be a email address already uh, created so first name last name website language password uh, uh, these are not required this will automatically be generated uh, by wordpress uh, uh, or uh, some of the options like first name last name website like uh, this could be changed by the user by themselves when they are changing their options okay this option is very important send user notification if you tick this mark that means whenever you are creating a user the email address that you are giving uh, that email address will have the all, all details like their username and how to reset their password things like that so uh, right now i'm creating a user and role is very important I, as i said there are five default role in wordpress these are the those roles uh, subscriber contributor author editor administrator and uh, no role for this side there is another role uh, which we can give after we create an user uh, i'll show that later but uh, the primary roles are these five and if you have third-party plugins that can have more roles so i'm creating a user with the subscriber role subscriber means that they can log into your website and they can uh, uh, see any post that are only private uh, or uh, some other things that you have set up with other plugins that requires the logged in users <coughs> I'll explain the user roles uh, and their de uh, capabilities later. Okay, so that user can have that email and they can reset their password. This is the first way, and the second way would be uh, creating an user account by themselves. For doing so, what we have to do, we have to uh, 
have a option uh, like anyone can register this option should be selected uh, otherwise no one can create a create any user account on your website so for doing so we have to go to settings then general then ticking uh, checking this mark and saving the changes now uh, let's say that uh, uh, let me log into in incognito mode and lab.wpboffins is our website uh, uh, right now i don't have a menu item for registering i am not going to demonstrate that yet but uh, what uh, someone can do someone can uh, give a slash after uh, uh, your uh, website name then wp admin or wp register.php hopefully it will work yeah so wp dash register.php are going to bring you guys here or if you uh, like if you give wp admin that's the easiest way uh, then you can have this option register same thing the two thing is very important to creating a user as i said the username and the password so we have to give that uh, for this case i'm giving um, and any email address that you have then you have to click on register and to complete the registration you have to check your email for the details and then you have to confirm your account let me check if it's uh, I haven't given any password so I have to set that password uh, by visiting the email let me do that whenever you're getting an email like this then you have to click on this option and I'm opening in incognito because I am already logged in with another user then you have to give a password these are the uh, auto generated password if you want to uh, give something you want then you can give that and uh, make sure that you have a special characters uh, numbers etc and a capital letter so i'm going to generate a password uh, and i'm going to save it then what we can do we can click on login uh, wp dash login.php is the login or wp dash admin both ways we can log into a wordpress website so right now i am going to log into this site and by default uh, the role would be uh, subscriber because I have uh, put that role here if you put any other role like contributor author editor by default people will be joining in in your website uh, by signing up with those roles so please be aware which role you are putting in your registration process like in the settings if you are setting if you are giving administrator that means they will have the whole uh, full access to your website okay this is the way how you can create user in wordpress now if you want to know more about the roles and capabilities i'm going to explain that now uh, what are wordpress user role and their capabilities wordpress has six predefined roles super admin administrator editor author contributor and subscriber but you will only have five roles if you are if you're you are not under a multi-site wordpress network that means if your uh, wordpress setup is single site then you will have five if your uh, setup is multi-site then you will have six multi-site means one wordpress setup can have multiple uh, wordpress for different uh, purposes for example let's say that you are running a magazine website then you have a section named let's say entertainment you have a section named sports you have a section named technology you have a section named um, let's say travel you can put all of them in your one website under categories uh, uh, managing them but if you want to have separate site with separate design for separate things like entertainment might need something glamorous technology might need something tech savvy travel maybe more travel oriented focusing on traveling things sponsoring things booking things like that so you might need different look and feel for your website at that uh, case if you want your user to have 
one login for every website then you can install the multi-site wordpress but that's a kind of a advanced theme um but that's kind of an advanced uh thing to do which we'll learn slowly in this channel for now this uh, you need to know that there are six roles uh in general for multi-site and five roles in general for the regular wordpress setup that is the single site so let me explain the role to you super admin somebody with access to the site network administ administration features and all the features and administrator uh, somebody who has access to all the administration feature within a single site so these are, are same but the super admin can manage all the sub account i mean sub sites on a multi-site installation but the administrator only can access the single site that they are assigned to or maybe that when we are having a single site at this moment this setup is a single site so i am the administrator uh, but if it was uh, multi-site then i could be the super admin and the uh, account that i created miss press uh, that could be the admin okay the next role is editor and uh, somebody who can publish and manage post including the post of other users they are known as editors the next role is author somebody who can publish and manage their own post keep in mind that author and editor they can publish immediately the next role is contributor somebody who can write and manage their own post but can't publish those posts by themselves an editor or an administrator need to check that post and publish that post so that means those posts would be under review for someone with higher role like administrator and editor author can't uh, approve other contributors post by the way author can publish by themselves but they don't have the editing capability of others post the least uh, powerful user role is subscriber somebody who can only manage their profile uh, uh, this is the profile page so someone who can only manage their profile and if there is any private post they can see that post that role is for the subscriber and uh, upon installing wordpress an administrator account is automatically created which we already know because we have seen that please keep in mind that if you install third-party plugins that could create extra user role for example WooCommerce easy digital downloads this creates separate role for managing shops uh, finances and uh, other things and if you install search engine optimization SEO related plugin for example rank path pro then uh, or rank path that can have SEO related user role so that's uh, for another video <laughs> that's not for the regular video uh, user role video okay now how to remove and edit user role or user account for doing so we can go if you're admin you can edit anyone's account or remove anyone's account but if you are only uh, editor author contributor subscriber then you can only edit your profile or delete your uh, no you can't delete but you can edit your profile but an administrator can delete so for for example let's say that i want to edit uh, miss press so i'm clicking on edit then i can change the name or any option that are available i can add biographical information and if let's say that for some reason uh, this user don't have access to their email anymore so they have reached you out and said that please set a password for me then you can actually create a new password you can put a password things like that and then you can give that password to them or uh, set the password for them so in this way you can uh, edit a user and uh, to remove a user we just have to click on delete i'm going to delete this one when you're deleting a user if they have uh, some post there will be an option here uh, let's say let me assign a post 
to give you an ex uh, to give you the best idea by the way please like the video if you guys like the video then it will help me to you know uh, go uh, in the top of youtube search and that will help me to create more content and by this way i know that you're liking my content and you are appreciating it you are encouraging me to create new contents okay so i'm going to change the user where is it yeah okay wp buff in okay uh, i have to change the role uh, to something upper like author contributor uh, to have that user on the list because i was having wp boffins only by the way miss Press is not there because i haven't confirmed that user yet that's why so now let's say that i want to remove this user uh this one if i click on delete then you'll see that you will have a, you are having an option like you can delete all the content created by that user only you can attribute all content to someone else so i'm attributing that to misspress and i'm going to confirm the deletion now misspress has one account oh misspress was actually subscriber that's why i couldn't see anyone so in this way you can uh, delete a user i hope you have liked this video if you did please press the thumbs up button if you have any question please leave a comment so i can reply with answer until until next video take care bye bye